Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to install Easy Appointments, an online appointment management system on Ubuntu 14.04. Easy Appointments is an open source appointment scheduler which allows you to be able to have a web page for users to be able to book appointments via an online site. It's even useful for commercial use and you can add it to another web page that's already existing. We just passed some screenshots and some of the features include customer and appointment management, additional services and service providers, some workflow for businesses, Google Sync, email notifications, and you can do a standalone installation so that it doesn't affect your current site. There's translations and a community. And then after that, we get to the installation and update instructions. And below that, we have the support and community. For us to get started, we want to go ahead and install the latest version. So we scroll up, hit latest version, and we want to open this in our archive manager. We will then have it open, and when we extract it, we do want to extract it to its own folder for easier management. So we're going to go ahead and create a folder in our home folder. We're just going to go ahead and label it EA, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and extract all our files to this folder. I'm just going to show the files. You don't have to, but when I show the files, I'll see all the files in our EA folder, which is in our user's home folder. So then that will make it easier to manage in terminal. We can now go ahead and close the home folder, close the archive extractor, and now we want to go ahead and open up terminal. In terminal, we want to install task select. So we'll go ahead and type sudo apt-get install task cell. And this will install the task select program, which will help us install our web server so that we can simplify that process into one command instead of many commands. Once you type in your password and confirm the installation, it will install. And once it's done, we could then go ahead and launch our task select by typing in sudo task cell. It will then give us a menu in which we can use our arrow keys on our keyboard to go down to the LAMP server, space to select, and then enter to launch. It will then give us a screen where it's downloading all the required packages. Partway through that, it will give you a pop-up to enter a password for the root user of the MySQL database. So we'll go ahead and enter that, as well as enter it a second time for the confirmation, and then we'll let the rest of the installation finish. Once it is done, then what we want to do is we want to now follow the instructions that are on the Easy Appointments webpage. So I'm going to now go ahead and close the terminal. And back in the web page, I want to now scroll all the way down to where the instructions are so that I can go ahead and now follow the instructions on their wiki page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up their in installation page in GitHub. They do have quite some well done documentation. So you could go ahead and read the introduction, some of the framework, and then get to the installation. We have already installed Apache PHP in MySQL. We need to enable the rewrite module as well as install the PHP curl extension. So we're going to once again open up terminal. And the first thing we're going to install is the PHP curl. Since we are installing PHP 5, it is sudo apt-get install PHP 5 hyphen curl. And once that go goes ahead as an install, we're basically done installing PHP 5 curl. Close terminal, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to enable the rewrite module in Apache. So back in terminal, we want to go ahead and write sudo a2nmod rewrite. This is going to enable the rewrite module for our Apache web server. And then we want to make sure that it is set up within our directory. So we are going to first restart Apache to enable this mod module. So sudo service Apache to restart. And then we want to go ahead and enable it in our current web server directory. So for us to do that, we are going to go ahead and type sudo nano, and then we want to get to our default site. So etc. 
forward slash Apache 2 forward slash sites hyphen available forward slash 000 hyphen default dot conf. So that's all on the screen. We go ahead and hit enter and we just want to scroll down to the point below the document root. We'll add a line tab in so that we are aligned and we want to then input the following line where we have our angle bracket directory var forward slash www forward slash html and then we close our angle bracket and we want to hyphen or to tab in and type in allow override all in one word and then space all. So that will enable our rewrite. We then want to close our directory. So another line, angle bracket in, and then we do a forward slash directory and then close our angle bracket to close all that. Control O, enter will save, and then Control X will exit our text editor. So we're basically done now with enabling our mod rewrite. So we can scroll down and the next step is to create a new database. We are just going to use the root user, but I do strongly recommend that you learn to create an additional user. So here we just need to go mysql hyphen u root hyphen p, enter the password that we created in the install of the lamp server. And then here we can create a database and we're going to title it easy appointments. Please don't forget the semicolon and then hit enter. Exit will exit us out of mysql and now we have created the easy appointments database. Now that all that's done, we want to copy our folder to the web server. Before we do that, we want to give permission to the web server so that it has access to modify those files. So we're first going to give it our web server user ownership of our EA file. So as long as it's in home, you can follow these instructions of sudo chown www data colon www data space hyphen capital R and then EA the folder. Then you put in your password and then we want to change its permission level where we go sudo chmod 775-r and then once again our folder. That's all done so now we're ready to move this particular folder to our web server. So now we're going to go ahead and type in that command so that we can move it to our web server. Just note that in the instructions that does say that we have to keep track of the URL that we are going to be placing our easy appointments under because we do need to add that to the configuration. So to move our folder, we can go ahead and type in sudo mv for move ea to var www forward slash html. It's going to move that folder there and then after that the final thing that we want to do before we go and finish our installation in our web browser is we want to go ahead and change the configuration.php file to have our database, to have our Google API key if we want to sync it to Google Calendar and most importantly our URL. So for that we do need to once again go into terminal and in terminal we're going to type in sudo nano var forward slash www forward slash html forward slash ea the folder we created forward slash configuration dot php. You may have to put in your password again and then from there in the first section under general settings we need to give it our URL. So if you don't have a public web address we do have a video that can go through the steps of creating a public web address through a free service from no IP. Uh, so I'll put that link up in uh, the annotations on this video as well as in our written component. We do also need to put in our database settings. So we created the database easy appointments and then the user that we're using for this case is root and we put in the root password. Once again with this particular situation please if you are concerned about security to change it to not the root user. Control O to save, control X to exit, and then we just need to restart our Apache one more time, sudo service Apache 2 restart. Now that all that's done, we're basically done with terminal. We want to go ahead and open up a new tab, and we want to go ahead and type in our public web address. Once again, the annotation is now on your screen if you want to learn how to do this, and that's going to take us to our easy appointments installation. It's going to ask for things like the information for our administrator account. So I'm just going to put uh, my name, our email that you can contact us for support, our username, and a password for that particular administrator. You can also put company name information as well. So I'm just going to put in our company, Tech Nerd Services, the email that you can reach us at, which is still info at technerdservices.com. 
as well as our company link, technerdservices.com. So all that stuff is put in. We can go ahead and scroll down uh, past the license section and hit install easy appointments. Apparently I forgot to put in the phone number, so we're going to go ahead and also place in our uh, public phone number that we have available. So we're just going to go ahead and type that in, and then we are going to go ahead and then once again hit our install easy appointments. That's going to go ahead, and if everything turns out well, we're going to see the back end of our easy appointments. We see a calendar. Currently nothing is set up, but in the menu we can see we can create customers, we can uh, put in also services and then we can also create additional users as well from this particular interface so we can get all those things set up and with the services and the customers we can then also put in appointment slots for people to go ahead and register for appointments there is also a logout button if necessary so we just want to uh, go ahead and also take a look at creating a service one important thing to note is you do need to hit the add button if you just click on the name it's not going to fill in unless you first click on the add button in the top right above details so i go ahead and click that and then now i can go ahead and start typing things into the details of the surface so for example if we do a consultation for a minute we do a price of it as 125 dollars an hour canadian and then from there we can choose a category. Categories aren't currently set up and a description if needed. And then we can go ahead and save. And there is our services. And that's how you get started in installing easy appointments on Ubuntu. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.